Oh my. What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, I'll be talking about a very, very controversial weapon that's been pretty much terrorizing Call of Duty Warzone over the past few weeks, and it recently got nerfed. It was crazy how it got nerfed, though, because it was just by steps by steps, and people just kept on complaining, and they removed it altogether. So, so what happened was that there's this pistol called the Tear, and there's this attachment called the Snake Shot. So once you put it together, I mean, you can take down enemies within one or two shots. Even though they're fully armored and everything, it was just so powerful. And I've seen clips about it. I've seen clips about it on TikTok, on Twitter, mostly from charlieintel.com. And from what I've seen, I was like, damn, I've never seen nothing like this before. So, and by the way, the last time I played Modern Warfare uh, Warzone or whatever, I was back in 2019. I only played like around 10 matches and I just quit because people knew where I was most of the time and I was annoyed by it. So that's why I stopped playing. Just in case people wanted my background on Warzone, I don't play it as much. So, uh, but I've, I know what I've seen and I know what people have been complaining about. And the tier pistols are OP as hell, bro. So this is the hilarious thing that happened though. Over the weekend, this pistol lost its bullets. You can no longer like pick up bullets for the tier, so you can only use it once and that's it. You know, you can only use it a few times, no bullets to recharge it or anything to even use it again. And then a few hours later, they finally just banned the weapon altogether. I'm like, damn. And people complain like crazy though. You can go into the comment sections for every single post in Call of Duty. And you'll be able to see people that like, complain like crazy about this weapon. Like, take it out of the game. It's too overpowered and everything. And I'm like, yeah, it is. It is overpowered, dude. That's one of the ones that I actually do agree on. That kind of well, that it was well deserved of a, of a nerf. So uh, at first, I thought they were just going to nerf it to Oblivion. You know, like some other weapons that I've seen. But no, they just took it out altogether. So um, let's see how they work it out. Because this is not the first time they do something like this before. They also took out the Groot skin a few weeks back. And I'm like, damn, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is actually taking it serious when it comes down to weapon balancing and also the state of the game, you know, making sure that everybody's enjoying the game and it's going down as, as smoothly as possible. So this is actually the first time that I actually do see such a fast action being take place by Call of Duty. I'm like, damn, dude, they actually do care. <laughs> what happened to the other CODs? You know, what happened to last year's COD? Shit. You know, my biggest complaint about last year was the Dead Silence. It was only available as a special equipment, not as a perk. And that special equipment can only be activated like every 30 seconds. So it was annoying that people knew my footsteps and where I was because, you know, people buy $200 headsets and they can hear the entire map. They can hear your footsteps from miles away. So that was my biggest complaint. I always like to use Dead Silence to avoid the situation because everybody has expensive headsets and I know who they are and... They, that fucking sucks. It sucks that they know where you are most of the time and they just be aiming through the wall and they can just kill you immediately. They'll, they'll even pre-fire on every single corner you walk by. So it's very annoying to see that. That's why Dead Silence as a perk that is a constantly active one, it's very important for Call of Duty, bro. Because now people are just going to abuse that that sound hearing bullshit and it's just becomes very annoying which is why i just which is why i just gave up on modern warfare 2 because people knew where i was most of the time and were like looking at me through walls and shit i'm like dude how do they know i have ghost on and it still doesn't even fucking work that's another thing spy plane never worked very well uh like i mean the ghost perk it didn't it didn't work that well last year either so it was a broken game modern warfare 2 was a broken game they didn't bother fixing it at all they just updated the game added some stuff in the store and that's it <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I just give up on that. This year, this is the first time in a while that I actually do play like for a few weeks. And damn, they actually do update the game and they do some some important changes. And, and yeah, that's a hell of a job. You know, I applaud Sledgehammer Games. I'm hoping they do more than just that in the future. If there's something else that's broken, hopefully there's a, a better fix for it. So, so yeah, guys, am I excited? Yeah, because I'm telling you, I've been playing Call of Duty since Black Ops 1 and... and I've only seen it a few times, but they're never consistent about it. But Modern Warfare 3 has been consistent about changes in weapon balancing that I'm like, damn, this is going to be the first time ever that they do actually care about something like this and, you know, and balance out the game. So 
that is it guys that's just my opinion if you have your own opinion just leave it in the comment section i'll read it later so that is it leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up and i'll see you guys in the next one